If you haven't noticed, in the past few weeks, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is on a campaign. Rouhani is a wolf in sheep's clothing. No partial deals, no enrichment. And if they continue, continue the sanctions. Don't say I didn't warn you. I will never compromise on Israel's security. Never. For the past 30 years, the Israeli leader has been closely monitoring Iran's nuclear ambitions and has been a key player in the recent developments. Ahead of the resumption of negotiations between Iran and the West this week in Geneva, he fears the latest signs of rapprochement. Mr. President. Since the United Nations General Assembly, Netanyahu has daily expressed deep concern over the Iranian diplomatic drive. After more than 12 international interviews and numerous public statements, his message is clear. For God's sake, don't let them have nuclear weapons. Seeking to win over the Iranian public opinion, Netanyahu gave an interview to the BBC Persian channel. He tried to appeal to the people by speaking their own language, but a casual comment about life in Tehran is the reason the interview went viral. I think if the Iranian people had their way, they'd be wearing blue jeans, they'd have Western music, that have free elections. Netanyahu was hoping to reach out, but from the Iranian point of view, he was out of touch. Women in Tehran are required to cover their hair and wear loose clothing in public, but jeans are not forbidden and are worn. So Iranian social media was swamped with dozens of pictures of Iranians wearing jeans addressed to Netanyahu, deriding him for his ignorance. After the denim incident conquered Twitter and Facebook, all major news sites covered it too. And in the end, Netanyahu's BBC Persian interview actually got much more exposure than before. He said what he said, people react and made a buzz. So PR wise, absolutely fantastic. If you want to reach and to try to get to a direct conversation with the Iranian Persian by building trust and solidarity, I think he failed. I mean, they perceived it as an arrogant try to show them we are better, we are in a better situation. Netanyahu is well known for his rhetoric qualities and use of gimmicks, which always create furious virtual reactions. So after the BB duck, if it looks like a duck, and the BB bomb, now we have BB jeans. But one may ask if the impact of the gimmick overshadows the message. Does Netanyahu's rhetoric style prevail over substance? And does the media blitz convey the message or blur the point by overemphasizing it? Prime Minister Netanyahu is probably the best uh, Israeli spokesperson. He understands in the most profound way what a soundbite is and how to uh, deliver the message. The question is uh, whether Netanyahu, after his history with the world media, can convince the world right now uh, that uh, we shouldn't believe the Iranian. And I'm not convinced this is the case. He can give very good soundbites. I'm not sure the world is ready to listen to Netanyahu right now.